prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate the apparition of Our Lady at Lourdes. We pray to the Blessed Virgin Mary so that she may always lead us closer to her Son, and to listen to Jesus and follow Him. Today is also the World Day of the Sick. We remember in this Mass our brothers and sisters who are ill. We entrust them to the healing love of Jesus. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate the Eucharist. Let us call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and to bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Immaculate Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. Jeroboam left Jerusalem, and the prophet Ahijah, the Shilonite, met him on the road. The two were alone in the area. And the prophet was wearing a new cloak. Ahijah took off his new cloak, tore it into twelve pieces, and said to Jeroboam, Take ten pieces for yourself, the Lord the God of Israel says. 
I will tear away the kingdom from Solomon Graps and will give you ten of the tribes. One tribe shall remain to him for the sake of David, my servant, and of Jerusalem, the city I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. Israel went into rebellion against David's house to this day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. My people heard not my voice, and Israel obeyed me not. So I gave them up to the hardness of their hearts. They walked according to their own counsels. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, quickly would I humble their enemies. Against their foes, I will turn my hand. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting, touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened, his speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, yesterday's first reading was about the sin that King Solomon committed against God. Solomon allowed himself to be influenced by his wives by turning his heart away from God. And not only that, he even built places of worship for these false gods, leading people 
to worship not the true God of Israel, but false gods. And so in yesterday's first reading, God told Solomon that because he was not faithful to the covenant, his kingdom will be divided. And majority of the kingdom will go not to the descendant of Solomon, but to his servant. Ang magmamana ng kaharian ay hindi anak ni Solomon, hindi galing kay Solomon, kundi alipin niya. And this is what happened in our re first reading today. Jeroboam, who was not a descendant of David, but a servant of Solomon, received kingship over ten tribes of Israel, represented by the ten pieces of cloak, torn cloak of the prophet. The kingdom of Israel was divided, and the line of David lost the kingdom all because of the sin of Solomon. In our gospel today, we heard another healing story of Jesus. People brought to Jesus a man who is both deaf and mute, having difficulty in speech. And the people who brought this man to Jesus begged him to lay his hands on the man and heal him. And Jesus was not deaf to the request. Hindi naging bingi si Jesus sa pakiusap ng mga tao para sa taong bingi at utal. Jesus healed this man. Jesus listened to the request and restored the man. He was able to hear and to speak. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today show us that the failure of one man, Solomon, to listen to God caused separation and division. But the ability of one man, Jesus, to listen to the people brought about healing and restoration. The evil actions of one man, Solomon, resulted in the nation's doom while the love of one man, Jesus, brought about salvation. No wonder, my dear brothers and sisters, that when Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary, appeared in Lourdes and in almost all places where she appeared, her constant message was prayer, penance, and conversion. The message of Mary was always an invitation to return to Jesus, to listen to Him, and to follow Him. Yan palagi ang paalala at paanyaya sa atin ng ating mahal na ina. Nagpapakita siya sa iba't ibang lugar hindi para sa kanyang sarili, kundi para anyayahan tayong makinig palagi kay Jesus. Ibalik ang ating puso kay Jesus at sundan ang sinasabi ni Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, 
to listen to God is very important because God always tells us what will be good for us. If we fail to listen to God, then it will cause our disaster and doom. And so today we ask ourselves, do we still know how to listen to God? Nakikinig pa ba tayo sa Diyos? And maybe we could also ask, do we still know how to listen to one another? Marunong pa ba tayong makinig sa isa't isa? O nakikinig lamang tayo doon sa mga gusto nating marinig? Kapag ayaw natin yung ating napapakinggan, hindi na rin tayo nakikinig. Baka nakikinig lamang tayo, pero hindi naman talaga natin hinahayaang maging bahagi ng ating buhay ang ating napakinggan. And it is sad, my dear brothers and sisters, that in our times, it is already very difficult to invite people to listen. Napakahirap na anyayahan ang mga taong tunay na makinig sa Diyos. Naririnig siguro yung sinasabi, pero hindi tunay na pinakikinggan na nagiging bahagi ng buhay. We listen only to those we want to hear, and we believe only those we want to believe. Ang pinaniniwalaan natin ay yung mga hindi naman kapanipaniwala, pero yung salita ng Diyos na totoo, hindi natin pinakikinggan, hindi natin pinaniniwalaan. My dear brothers and sisters, let us listen to God because we already, we have already seen in history the horrible consequences of not listening to Him. Nakita na natin yan sa kasaysayan ng mundo. Kapag ang tao hindi nakikinig sa Diyos, pinapahamak niya ang kanyang sarili. But if people listen to God, then healing, restoration, good things, salvation come. Let us listen to God because God knows what is best for us. Let us not pretend that we know better than Him. Huwag tayong magpanggap na mas alam natin kung ano yung makakabuti para sa atin dahil mas alam ng Diyos kung ano yung tama at mabuti. Let us listen to God because in the end, He is God. And as God, we must always pay attention to what He is saying. Isn't it that we said in the responsorial psalm, I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. If the God of Jesus is our God, then we will listen to Him. And if we truly listen to Him, we will obey Him, even if what He is saying is against what we want. Please stand. We read in the gospel that Jesus responded to the needs of the deaf with the deaf man. With confidence, we pray to God the Father to fulfill our needs. For every petition, let us say, Divine Healer, open us to your touch. Divine Healer, open us to your touch. That the church and her members may be receptive to the healing message of the gospel. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Healer, open us to your touch. That we may open our ears and our hearts to the pleas of the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Healer, open, open us to your touch. That we may always use the gift of speech to proclaim the glory of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Healer, open, open us, us to your, your touch. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Healer, open, open us to your touch. touch that the dead may rest in peace and may those who mourn be comforted let us pray to the lord divine, divine healer open us to your touch. touch we pray in silence for our personal petitions we pray for the people we promise to pray for we also pray for the intentions offered in this mass Eternal Father, through the intercession of Mary, our Lady of Lourdes, heal our selfishness and open our hearts to receive the good news of salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice, made by your grace, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
Maria, in the 